As Mio demos began with the torching of a bus along Gong Road, and later, a truck driver faced the same fate while on the southern bypass, where driver said the attackers were looking for food. Wale maskari wakajaribu kwa manage, maskari wakazidi wakakimbia. Eh, sasa wakani kujia mimi ni kijaribu kutani gari ni rudi, ndo wakakuja mbele ya gari wakani vunjia vio. So mimi ni, ka, ni kajaribu kutoroka, wakani pigia pigia lakini ka, kakimbia. In Mavare, tear gas bellowed in the cloud as the protesters engaged police in running battles. <laughs> Despite Azimio leadership assurances that the demos were to take place in Nairobi alone, protesters in Kisumu joined the protest and lit bonfires on streets, hindering smooth flow of traffic. <laughs> At exactly 1 p.m. in what would turn out to be a decoy meant to stall the police, Azimio leader's convoy left Lavington into Kawangware Estate, then Kangemi before diverting into Wayakiwe, where police in several land cruisers began trailing the leaders. The convoy would join Kiambu Road, where they laid a siege, ending the march with tear gas renting the airwaves. It would emerge that Odinga, Karua, Kalonzo and other coalition leaders were not part of the convoy. <laughs> Nairobi Senator Edwin Sefuna and his counterpart from Kitui Enokwambua, who had earlier been tear at the city center, were the ones on the convoy. Odinga and his coalition counterparts would later emerge from the Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Foundation with an explanation on why they were a no-show in today's demos. At the break of dawn, police got stations in all parts of Nairobi Metropolis and the city center to prevent us from proceeding with our peaceful protests as we had planned. And it was not only the police who were unleashed as we had earlier warned, hooligans hired by the Kenya Kwanza illegitimate regime were unleashed to cause mayhem and destroy property and blame it on our peaceful protest. Karua says that security attached to Waipa leader Kalonzo Musyoka and Raila Odinga had been withdrawn, alluding to a convoluted assassination plan targeting the Azimu leaders. This is significant because those two offices are guaranteed security by an act of parliament. It is not gratuitous. So this is illegal, and all members of parliament from Azimio who actively support this cause had also their security withdrawn. This is suspending the constitution illegally, engaging in intimidation and blackmail. They are also setting stage for assassinations promised by Moses Kuria. Azimio is laying blame on the Kenya Kwanza government over the destruction of property and torching of vehicles while singling out Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa and Trade Cabinet Secretary Moses Kuria on the unfortunate events. This too was a product of the meeting in Thika. It was a pursuit of the prediction by Moses Kuria that in the course of this protest, Ali Have Oswald would emerge and assassinate as a new leader, as was done with President J.F. Kennedy. It was also in line with the grim predictions of Gashagua about our peaceful and legitimate protest. Leo kumetokea gazia baso sumetokea, sisi wanajazimio hatu kuenda kule. Uo halibuwe umetokea ni wale vijana ambao walisanywa jana usiku. Azimio is further arguing that the new brands of maize flour sold at supermarkets and pushed by the Kenya Kwanzaa regime are GMO products. At least 46 people were arrested across the country during today's demos, according to Interior Cabinet Secretary Kithure Kindiki. But even after police foiled their protest on Tuesday, the coalition maintains that they will be back to the streets this Thursday. Martin Opio. K24 TV, Nairobi. Baba. Baba. Sini wa baba.